What up? So this is going to be an unboxing video. Um, a fluorescent lamp unboxing video. You see, this is my computer desk right here. And the only light in the room I have at night is from this thing over here. So, it gets a little dark trying to be by the computer. So, I wanted to go out and buy one of those Luxo drafting lamps. Because that's what we use at work and they're real nice. I wanted to get the one with the two bulbs. One, a bulb in the center and then a bulb on the a circular fluorescent on the outside. Light socket in the center, circular fluorescent on the outside. Well, the only problem was that the Luxo ones cost over two hundred dollars so I found a competitor lamp a off-market lamp but they were still over a hundred bucks then I found this off of Amazon it was a knockoff competitors lamps it's usually over a hundred bucks for fifty bucks open box plus ten dollars shipping so I thought I would take my chance and from first impressions of how it was boxed uh, I'm regretting taking my chance this is how it came to me. So let's open this up and see if I got screwed. And my trusty uh, bench made knife. There's the lamp. Throwing this box aside, but it just says an interesting note. This box is California Title 20 compliant. Another reason why I'm not moving to California, if you read up on that, they don't allow you to buy any incandescent bulbs in California. Everything has to be fluorescent. So, in order for this to be compliant, they can't ship it with the incandescent bulb for the center. Now hopefully it'll come with a fluorescent circular bulb. Yep, it did. And this fluorescent circular bulb, oh no. It fell right out because look here. This clip is broken, this clip is broken. There's only one clip that works. So I had to contact this Amazon seller about that. But at least the ball came unbroken. I guess that's the one benefit. And the only other thing I see missing is the clamp. Clamp it to the um, oh, there's another another small box in the package. And it's the clamp. So I have everything except for the fact that the cliffs in the center are broken. And the ones that we have at work, the Lux, the actual Luxo ones that we have at work use metal cliffs. They don't use these cliffs. And they use a different type of circular fluorescent. So uh, I'm going to go and install it on my desk anyway. I'm going to contact the seller though, definitely. 
Okay, so I ended up putting it on the left side of the desk because there was a whole bunch of wires on this side. And uh, it seems like it does good. One good complaint I have about this lamp, and it holds its, uh, it holds its, uh, it is balanced with the springs, and it holds its uh, position pretty good. Just like the, just as good as the Luxo ones that we use at work. So let me put the bulb in. Uh, good thing about this lamp, it has a real nice SO cord, SO cord strong three prong cord going to it which was this one right here. Uh, you know, it doesn't use any cheap uh, jet line or fixture wire. You see, good SO cord. And it has a outlet right here, just in case you need an outlet there. So I'm gonna see if I can get that lamp to go up there with the clips broken. So the lamp that came supplied with it is a T5 25 watt 6500K, and if I, like 5100K is white, 6500K is really white. I believe 6500K even has a tint of blue to it. I'm not sure. So, but it should be white. So what I ended up doing was I took a zip tie and zip tied it around that one that was broken. And you know, the bulbs, it's a little wiggly. There should be another attachment point right here, but the bulb's not gonna fall out. So I'm gonna contact the company to see if they can work with me on that. But uh, let's see uh, how it works. T5, 25 watt, 6500. Woo, and it is bright. And it is white, which is what I want it, white, white. And look at that, just, you can tell the difference. I'll do a video later on showing what it's like at night, but you can tell a big difference just during the day. So I'll have plenty of light. And you know what, it's not, it's not too blinding. That was another thing that I was afraid of. I was afraid it was gonna to be too blinding. Actually, <laughs> it's showing all the dust. <laughs> I'm gonna to have to clean up, keep it dust. Now, uh, let me show you what I got for uh, that center bulb. Okay, so a lot of times at night, you don't wanna light this bright when you're browsing on the computer. You want something a little softer. So I got, uh, blue CFL 13 watt, which is a 60 watt incandescent equivalent, and I got a uh, black light 13 watt CFL, which is the same thing, 60 watt. So uh, I'm gonna have to choose between one of these two to put in for my night, uh, or what light I'm gonna use at night. And for this, I'm gonna go and wait till. It gets a little darker out. Okay, on the label here, it's interesting to note for the middle bulb, you can use the 60 watt bulb. And uh, I bought a uh, 60 watt equivalent CFLs, but they're using a lot less than 60 watts. So, an incandescent 60 watt bulb, that's the hot, uh, biggest middle bulb you can use. And then it says you can use a 19 watt or a 25 watt T5. And of course, it came with a Oh no, it says RCFL 19 watt. You see it has a spiral bulb. So you can put a 19 watt CFL, which I got a little bit smaller one, and then T5 25 watt. Okay, so it's uh, night time. And as you can see, I have uh, that light on. So this is how much light I usually have at my uh, desk. So, uh, if I turn on the white light, I have a lot more light on my desk. So, you know, this wasn't that bad when I'm just watching videos and stuff, but if I'm actually working, I barely had any light. But this will be uh, plenty. And even when I turn this rear light off, this is still plenty. Okay, so then if I switch it, I put the blue light in. And so if I want dim light, if I'm just browsing one dim light. And the reason I chose the blue light, if you guys know anything about Grad Life, which used to be an awesome video vlog, but they stopped in their first mansion, the Grad Life mansion, they had blue lights in their computer area. So that's why I decided to get the blue light. So uh, that's 
this blue light and uh, let me go and switch it to the black light and see how it is okay so the black light is in there so let's see what the black light looks like Right, this is the black light and tell you the truth between the blue light and <laughs> the black light makes the um, makes the T5 glow but between the blue light and the black light I might go with the black light because the black light is a lot uh, a lot more uh, subdued the blue light was still kind of bright for very low light conditions My pants on their black light. My bed. No stains on my bed. Socks are glowing too. Yeah, so I think I'm going to leave the black light in there for when I'm on the computer by myself. But any other time, if I want real light. So overall, besides the fact that the clips were broken, uh, this turned out to be a great light. Hopefully the Amazon seller will... Uh, help me out with this clips but uh, that's my review